Hello children I welcome you all once again for our English literature class Today I will be teaching you chapter 4 Grandma's vegetable garden This is a story about a little girl Asha and her grandma who has a vegetable garden with different kinds of vegetables growing Grandma's vegetable garden One day grandma tells Asha please bring some vegetables from the garden Asha's grandma tells Asha to go to the garden and pluck some vegetables Asha takes a big basket and goes out. She brings green peas and purple brinjals. Asha takes a big basket to pluck and keep the green peas and purple brinjals in it. Grandma says, "Thank you, Asha." Can you please bring some carrots? We can have some hot soup. Grandma thanks Asha for bringing the vegetables and asks her to get some carrots to make some hot soup. Asha goes out. She looks everywhere. She cannot see any carrots. Asha goes back to the garden to look for some carrots, but she couldn't find any carrots. Asha goes to grandma. She says, "I cannot find any carrots in the garden." Asha comes back to grandma and she says that there is no carrots in the garden. Grandma says there are many carrot plants in the garden. Look carefully. Grandma says please look for it carefully as she has planted many of them Asha goes to the garden again Fluffy a cat goes with her Asha looks everywhere but she cannot find the carrots She goes back to the garden again her cat Fluffy goes with her she looks everywhere but she couldn't find the carrots <clears throat> suddenly she hears a loud meow meow she sees fluffy digging the ground she goes close to fluffy She hears her cat Fluffy mews who was digging the ground and she goes near to Fluffy And what does she see she sees big orange carrots in the ground Well done Fluffy says Asha happily then she sees a big orange carrot in the ground and she appreciates Fluffy for helping her to find the carrots Children I hope you all have understood the chapter 
I want you all to read it not once but twice or thrice carefully and do your exercise given in your book. If you can't understand or you can't read, then you can ask me during the class. Thank you children for listening to me and God bless you all.